algebra of physical measurables in mathematics if you write a function such as a sine function sine function has an argument and sometimes it is a function of many variables for example a wave is a function of position and time if you study mathematics you don't have to take care much about the dimensions in mathematics in mathematics dimension is that there are only three dimensions sure one can extend the number of dimensions in the euclidean space at n dimensional euclidean space however whether you have uh, many dimensions in mathematics or not the dimensions are in physical sense it does not carry any physical dimensions physical dimensions is expressed as a power product of powers of mass we use the bracket to denote it as a physical dimension length and time and there are some powers so we need to know three powers of uh, this uh, length math and time unfortunately mathematics doesn't care about any physical dimensions and you can always insert any kind of numbers that's no problem however in physics x for example is not a number but a number multiplied by a unit that has a physical dimension it is uh it has the dimensions of length mass has its own dimension velocity is length divided by times something like that so we should be very careful to make use of mathematical function in physics first of all sine function has an argument in mathematics sine of x but actually it is an angle an angle is length arc length divided by radius is a ratio of two length parameters so length divided by length so it's a dimension is length power zero every power length mass and time all three powers are zero in that case we say dimensionless okay we we have to choose a variable that does not carry any dimensions to insert that parameter into arguments of mathematical function okay so show that x minus vt is defined physically yes it is defined phys physically because it has a length dimensions and velocity length divided by time and time 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 cancels it has a length so two numbers can be added or subtracted only if the two dimensions are the same that's fine however if x is a displacement x that's fine however this one is disallowed f of x t that's fine however this is this is a physical one however sine f x t that is a sine x minus v t this one is not defined okay we are we are dealing with sine function the reason is that this one has the dimensions of length in order to define this kind of function we have to make this one dimension list a simple way is divide this one with a constant whose dimensions are length so that is wavelengths 
So if I insert this one into sine function, that's fine. <clears throat> In mathematics, a side of a right triangle is dimensions. A, B, C, right triangle, then we have square sum of squares is the sum uh, is the same as the square of the hypotenuse. That's fine. We don't have to worry about the dimensions in mathematics. However, what happens if it if you find such kind of triangle in physics, then all three sides must be of the same physical dimensions. If it has a length, then this this everything must carry uh, everything must carries dimensions of length. If it if a single side is of dimensions of time, then everything should be of dimensions time, something like that. So there exists a right triangle whose sides are of dimensions of time. Find it, for example. So if you study special theory of relativity, you learn time dilation from uh, proper time that is measured by a clock that is fixed to an observer. We have time, proper time. However, the time varies depending on the motion that is called the usual time. And the time is gamma multiplied by this proper time. What is the scaling factor? This scaling factor is called Lorentz factor. And it, it becomes one when velocity is zero. However, if the velocity approaches the speed of light, it approaches infinity, it diverges. The ratio of time and proper time is in here determined by the velocity. How? If I write V of T, that's wrong. Why? This one does not have uh, any velocity dimension. This is a length dimension. This time, time. So you have to rescale this to make it have make it have dimensions of time. That is a to divide this one by speed of light, something like that. If it this is a, the, the, all three things has uh, have dimensions of time. If I want to make it make everything to have dimensions of length, then simple way a simple way to do that is to multiply the speed of light to find the c tau c t v t. This is a relativistic triangle, and the gamma is nothing but the time divided by the proper time. Harmonic oscillator is a mass spring system. Mass M and spring K, spring constant K, according to Newton's second law, F equals minus K times X. F is expressed in terms of the product of mass and acceleration. If I substitute this one in here, then I would get the equation of motion. That is, in mathematical sense, it is a second order ordinary differential equation. I divide both sides with mass, that, then I find this. So explain why k over m it has the dimensions of one over time squared. It's trivial. We can think about this double time derivative and that is second or the time derivative. Okay, there's this two is missing in here.
then you can rewrite this one as a double time derivative operator plus k over m applied to displacement. So these two are being added. That means these two are of the same dimensions. As you know, second order derivative has the dimension of the time one over time squared. That's the reason why this guy must have the same dimensions. This is explained in detail in this equation. Finally, find the false statement regarding the chain link conversion. Chain link conversion is a multiplying of as many conversion factors as possible to convert a unit to another. However, the changing a unit from another usually does not change the physical dimensions. For example, you want to express a year in terms of day, 365 days. You want to convert this one into hours. You have 24 hours per every day. Let's see. These kind of thing is called conversion factor. Okay. And conversion factor is always unity. Why? One day is equivalent to 24 hours. For example, one inch is 2.54 centimeter by definition, for example. So what is the conversion factor? It, one could be one inch divided by 2.54 centimeter. This can be a conversion factor. And because it is one, it's a reciprocal is also one. Everything is possible. The convenient one for your conversion, chain link conversion is to cancel, cancel something. So five inches, you want to convert the five inches to many centimeters, then you want to kill this. In that case, your conversion factor must have this inch in the denominator. That's the way how to uh, choose the best conversion factor for your train link conversion. However, in some case, conversion factor is not always the same as one. However, it is actually one. For example, C is the speed of light. Einstein's relativity says that time should be converted to have the dimensions of length to make this space-time coordinates transform together. Our original idea, definition of time and space were wrong historically. That's the reason why speed of light is not one instead of a very strange number. So, 299, these large number meter per second should be multiplied to convert time to have a time, the length dimension. And actually this one it looks like it is a, not equal to one, but in the sense of physics, it is a natural constant that should have been one. So although it looks, it looks different from unity, but actually it is the same as unity. Although this number is not unity, whole thing in physical one is a physical constant. 